Hey, what's going on, rock stars? Blue Rocker Guitars coming at you. Well, this is a Dean Trident, and it's a very cool guitar. However, <clears throat> this uh, whole custom paint process was a bit of a nightmare. Um, sometimes custom paint goes really smooth and easy and uh, sometimes it doesn't <laughs> so the client wanted some cool pinstriping some antiquing in the pinstriping um, which is what we did so this is all custom painted <laughs> antiquing pinstriping yeah and then he wanted a phoenix on the front We'll get to that in a minute, but as you know, well may not know, but you will momentarily, black is one of the hardest to get perfect, mainly because anything gets in it, it shows. And if you have any issues with the clear, that shows. So we had some issues with the clear coat process on this. Um, it got pretty crazy. I thought I had it done, and then one little section here, or one little bit there, or one little something here, and it's like, oh, you're kidding me. So, I'm kind of anal retentive about that stuff, so uh, good for my clients. Not really good for me. <laughs> I like to get stuff, you know, perfect. Um, as perfect as I can do it myself. Uh, and uh, sometimes it's a bit of a challenge. So, this was challenging. I've had this guitar for quite a while. Um, sometimes clear coat, you have to let it set for a couple weeks before you can go back in and fix the issues. If you go in too soon, especially with colors like black, uh, they can show up again. So we had a, uh, a uh, solvent pop issue that was going on and it was attacking different parts of the actual finish. And uh, solvent pop kind of sucks because <laughs> there's these white little tiny things and you never see it until you go to buff it so your final wet sand and buff is when they show up sometimes you can sand them out and sometimes you can't so we had a couple issues with solvent pop even though you clear coat the guitar and it looks absolutely perfect you know when you go back and flatten it out and wet sand and buff and get it perfect then you see the unfortunate solvent pop that we had issues with um and we i just couldn't figure out why talked to the technician uh didn't change the paint process at all and uh you know um i think it was the fact that maybe the shop wasn't as clean as it could have been um and that's the shop not necessarily the paint area uh, the paint area was clean. Uh, the shop wasn't as clean as it could be. So, clean the entire studio, clean the entire shop, clean the entire paint booth again. And uh, this time, success. So, something that you weren't expecting um, to be an issue um, kind of maybe was the issue. Not sure if it was. Just thinking that it could have been. So, anyway, she looks amazing now. She's nice and beautiful and black and no issues. <laughs> Which, really happy to get to this stage. And the client's going to be really happy that I'm at this stage and we're going to ship this thing out today or tomorrow at the latest. And he'll have his custom painted trident and his studio to where he can enjoy it. So... This is the, uh, well, I guess he's what he's going to call a falcon. Um, or phoenix, sorry, not falcon, phoenix. So, yeah. So, we did a custom phoenix on there. Uh, he found an image online, sent me uh, like a little template thing um, that I actually couldn't use. Um, but I did use the sizing of the template to get the sizing kind of what he was expecting. We had to alter it a few times. But, yeah, it even goes down to there. It kind of wraps around and goes into there, which is pretty cool. <laughs> so, 
so uh, we wanted it to where the strings would go into it you can still see the majority of the design the bridge is not going to interfere with it um, and that's kind of what I think what we uh, we accomplished so we had to antique that as well and uh, yeah real nice antiquing so yeah all custom painted the Phoenix now it would have been really cool if this was an ebony but fingerboard but uh, it's not ebony fingerboard but it is actually still cool I think um, it's rosewood I believe or pale ferro or pale Ferrari pale for <laughs> I never get that wood right and because I don't use it but uh, yeah I think she came out really nice this time around <laughs> Thank God. So sometimes it gets uh, it gets you know to be somewhat of a struggle. We had to recreate the logo, of course, because you know the logo that came on it wasn't you know going to match the design. So we recreated the logo. I think it came out awesome. So super nice, and uh, got the pinstriping around the top, custom pinstriping around the body and of course the main part of the design the Phoenix so I'm sure he's gonna be extremely happy with this um, and pretty much worth the wait I would say because now it looks amazing <laughs> sorry if I don't toot my own horn but this was a bit of a challenge and I'm glad it came out and uh, we even went as far as recreating I don't know if you can see it there there you can recreating the fret markers and uh, of course we did the bind you know like the binding in the antique as well which I think looks pretty freaking awesome hard to tell in this light um, maybe if I turn it on its side here bear with me momentarily yeah, now you can see it. So, yeah, if it can focus. Focus. Well, it's not going to focus. It's not going to focus. It's going to be a little bit of a pain. Let's see if I can get this side to focus. Yeah, that's better. That side focuses. <laughs> or maybe it's just me. I'm not, uh, this is a camera. This isn't, you know, my other, what do you call it? GoPro. Yeah, this is still using the phone camera, so bear with me. But yeah, we recreated that. Gave him some cool looking markers there. Um, they're like a, uh, I don't know, kind of like a silvery with a flake. It's like a silver flake markers that we put on there, which I think look freaking awesome. So, yeah totally custom that's what we do just in case you didn't know <laughs> like if you can't tell already by now <laughs> that's what we do <laughs> so like share and subscribe if you need something custom painted um, we could run into issues because we have in the past not that often um, most guitars go pretty smoothly and I've painted uh, I don't know, 2,000 plus guitars since 2004. So, yeah, lots of guitars I've painted over the years. So, I think we're pretty good at what we do. <laughs> i got a little bit of experience. But uh, it doesn't matter how much experience you have, things can go wrong. And uh, you just got to keep pushing through until, you know, you get this kind of result. That's awesome, that looks great. And that's what we aim for. So, you need a custom build. You need a custom paint job. Uh, look us up. Give us a ring. Like, share, subscribe. We got, uh, you know, the website you can go to. Check us out on the web. Check us out on the uh, Instagram. I'm trying to post more there, and uh, you know, Facebook. We're on Facebook and all the social media stuff. Um, probably be on Twitter, or no, we're on X. Yeah, it's X now, and uh, we're on X. And uh, I guess we're gonna go to uh, TikTok next. So a lot of people are on TikTok. So I guess we'll. Go to TikTok as well. But yeah, make a comment if you're digging it, man. I like it. I think it came out great. So, yeah. 
We'll catch you on the flip side. See ya.